my name is Heaven and my capstone project question is, how has radiology changed medicine? What is the purpose of this project? The purpose of this project is to spread knowledge of the impacts of radiology in medicine. It will also give you an opportunity to learn deeply about radiology and the impact it's made in medicine. Radiology has saved a lot of lives ever since its invention and you'll be able to see why through the next following slides. The history of radiology. Radiology was invented in 1895 by Wilhelm Conrad. His job as a professor at Wurzburg University in Germany. Wilhelm showed a great interest in mechanical contrivances and even got into Polytechnic at Zurich. He was a student of mechanical engineering where he attended lectures as well as worked in labs. Wilhelm was published for his many discoveries like in 1870 where he dealt with specific heats of gases, his work on thermal conductivity of crystals and so on. However, Wilhelm was highly acknowledged by, the, by his discovery of the rays that he called X-rays. His discoveries occurred when he was studying about the passage of an electric current through a gas of extremely low pressure. With the help of earlier research called carried out by previous scientists, which are the cathode ray, which is the name given by Goldstein, as well as Rumford induction coil. The work done by the previous scientists had been to his advantage, which led him to the discovery of a new and different kind of rays known as the X-rays. Meaning of radiology and the types of radiology. Radiology is a specialty in medicine that deals with radiant energy using imaging methodologies in which images of the body's organs are interpreted in order to diagnose diseases. And here are the three specialties in radiology. So first off, we have the diagnostic radiology. This is when radiologists use x-rays, radionuclides, ultrasound, and electromagnet radiation to diagnose and treat diseases. Diagnostic radiology is at the core of clinical decision making in modern history. And this is because they know when an imaging test can help answer a question about a symptom, disease, injury, or treatment, and which tests will help get the best result for each patient. Secondly, we have interventional radiology. This involves performing a range of imaging procedures to obtain images inside of the body by the help of imaging techniques such as x-rays, magnetic resonance, imaging scans, fluoroscopy, computer tomography, scans, and ultrasounds. And thirdly, we have radiation oncology. This is when a radiation oncology technologist plans the treatment of patients by following prescriptions where ionizing radiation such as mega voltage x-rays or radionuclides is performed using specialized equipment. Radiology description and main tasks. To help with the curiosity of wanting to know what it's like to be a radiologist, here's how a day in the life of a radiologist is like. Just like any other job, radiologists are scheduled and expected to show up on time. Often radiologists work more than 40 hours per week and have a set schedule or routine. They work inside and will most likely be exposed to radiation, infections, and diseases. As a radiologist, you will be required to often wear specialized um, protective equipment. You are then expected to start off by obtaining patient histories from patient interviews, um, electro electronic record referring clinicians, or dictated reports. These reports will help when um, performing diagnostic imaging procedures such as MRI, CT, PET, ultrasound, and mammograph, as well as carrying out different kinds of procedures such as treating tumors, taking organ biopsies, or placing stents by inserting tiny instruments and catheters, which are thin plastic tubes into the body. And this is done by the use of the images. They help with guiding the catheters and instruments to the exact area where the procedure or treatment is to be performed. And lastly, you are to review the information gathered from diagnostic imaging procedures and communicate the results of the diagnostic information to physicians and patients. The significance of radiology to medicine. Radiology is a key diagnostic tool that helps with monitoring treatment and can even help with predicting specific outcomes. Doctors rely heavily on radiologists as they need accurate um, tests to be able to diagnose the disease and provide the proper treatment. They gain more options, tools, and techniques for detection and treatment, allowing them to obtain detailed information about structural or disease-related changes. Radiology also helps reduce the need for traditional, which is the open or keyhole surgery, as treatment can be given via a small plastic tube about the size of a straw using medical imaging. 
In their course of work, not only are they qualified to work in all areas of profession, such as treatment, planning, stimulation, dosimetry, they can also counsel patients on possible side effects from treatment and providing advice, um, ensuring that proper radiation handling and protection procedures are followed and monitored um, to patients during procedures. What courses to take in order to become a radiologist? So when you're in high school, it is recommended to take algebra, anatomy, physiology, biology, chemistry, computer applications, and physics. However, when you get into post-secondary school, there is actually two methods. You could either go to the British Columbia Institute of Technology, which is a continuous 24-month full-time diploma program. It is also blended in with on-campus lectures and labs of distance learning and through clinical experiences in different hospital environments. However, this is different in other universities like Simon Fraser University, Kuala Polytechnic University, University of British Columbia, and so many on, where you go into the process of four years of um, studying in the science field, the bachelor's degree, medical school, which takes up to four years, um, choosing your specialty, passing your license, four years radiology residency, one year sub residency, complete fellowship, state, state license, practice medicine in radiology, continuing education in certified and in license. Here are some fun facts about radiology. In 1927, 37% of radiologic technologists were nuns. The first patient brain scan was done through computer tomography scanning and was performed in 1971. Today, there are over 78 million computer tomography procedures performed each year. X-rays have also helped unlock secrets of DNA. By the help of Wilhelm Conrad, who originally invented X-rays, were able to detect the structure of DNA. His scientific discovery laid the foundation for all that we've learned about DNA since then locked amazing information into diagnostic treating, understanding the human body, and making advancement to bring people closer to better health. The first 3D mammography exam was performed in the U.S. in 2012. Um, the first x-ray did not impress the patient. Wilhelm's first x-ray was done on his wife's left hand on which was her wedding, wedding ring. However, when she saw the x-ray, she was not impressed. She said, and this is coded, I have seen my death. Another fact is that x-rays went through a period of novelty. Until it was known that x-rays were dangerous for those exposed to them, there was an element of novelty. In fact, x-rays, x-ray machines were at carnivals and circuses in similar fashion to photo, photo booths. Many shoe stores also use x-rays to ensure a better fit of shoe using the shape and size of the bones detected in the x-ray images. My conclusion. In conclusion, I want to be a radiologist because I want to be able to diagnose and treat diseases and help people with my job. The human body is such an incredible thing to study and radiologists have the opportunity to further examine it with the most initiative technology. Since they use the most advanced technology and focus on the entire body rather than just one section of the body, unlike neurologists who only read the brain or cardiologists who only study the heart, this is different for radiologists because they use their specialty in academic radiology to read everything such as chest x-rays to brain injuries giving them a chance to work with the entire body. By completing this project, I hope to gain more information about my career as it will help me learn more about radiology since it is something I want to pursue in the upcoming future.